In this video, we introduce some of the well-known constructive algorithms for graph colouring. Further details on all of these things, plus practical applications, can be found in this textbook here, A Guide to Graph Colouring, Algorithms and Applications. So in an earlier talk, we saw that um, the graph colouring problem is an NP-complete problem, so we need to turn towards heuristics and approximation algorithms. Now let's just remind ourselves of what we're seeking to achieve. We're given a graph like this, which is made up of vertices, which are the circles, and lines between them, which are the edges. Now these can be drawn in any formation, so this is essentially an arbitrary graph. And we're looking to color the vertices of this graph so that vertices that are joined by an edge are given to different colors and the number of colors being used is minimized. Perhaps the most well-known algorithm for coloring the vertices of a graph is known as the greedy algorithm. Sometimes people call it the first fit algorithm but the more common name is the greedy algorithm. And this operates in a very simple way. It takes the vertices one by one in some, some order and it just allocates them to the first color that is feasible. So the first color that is available which doesn't have an adjacent vertex assigned to that color. So let's just take an example ordering. Here I've got vertex 1 followed, followed by 7, then 3, then 4, 2, 6, 5, 8. And I'm just going to allocate the lowest color possible um, as, I, um, as I go through them one by one. Here on the right hand side as well is another way of visualizing this problem, which is basically to take the vertices one by one and to drop them into a colored bucket, so a red bucket, an orange bucket, and so on. So first we select vertex 1. Uh, any color is available for that, so we assign it to the first color, which is red. So it's assigned red, and it, the vertex is also dropped into the red bucket. Next we consider vertex 7, and we can see we can't assign it to red because it's adjacent to vertex 1, so we assign it to the second color, which is orange. Now we consider vertex 3. Vertex 3 is adjacent to red and orange, so we need to assign it to the third color, which is yellow. And similarly for vertex 4, we need to assign that yellow too. The next vertex we consider is vertex 2. And you can see that it's adjacent to red, but it's not adjacent to orange, so we can give it the color orange. And similarly we go through it. Uh, we see here that vertex 6, uh, that's not adjacent to red, so we can just assign it to the first color, and so on. We step through it until we've colored all the vertices. So here we've produced a solution that's using four colors. Now, this is an approximation algorithm, and as a result, it's not guaranteed to produce uh, the optimal solution. And that is the case here. In fact, this graph can be colored using just three colors. Let's consider another permutation of the vertices. Uh, this is written here, and if we follow the same steps, uh, follow the greedy algorithm, you can see that eventually we get a solution that's using just three colors. And it can be proved that uh, there always exists a permutation of the vertices that will produce an optimal solution via the greedy algorithm. Uh, as a consequence, some optimization methods for the graph coloring problem operate on permutations of the vertices, seeking to find one which minimizes the number of colors used. An alternative algorithm to the greedy algorithm is what we call the desatcher algorithm. This is very similar to the greedy algorithm, except that it produces the ordering of the vertices for you based on certain heuristic rules. The desatcher stands for degree of saturation. So the saturation degree, as it says here, is defined as the number of different colors assigned to adjacent vertices of a particular vertex. And what we look to do is we're looking to assign the vertices with the highest saturation degrees to colors first. So what we're doing is we're prioritizing what we can think of as the most difficult to color vertices. So we choose the vertex with the highest degree uh, with the highest saturation degree, and if there's any tie between vertices, uh, we can break these using the vertex with the highest degree. And if there's any further ties, we can just break them um, arbitrarily. So you can see here that to start, there are no colors assigned to the graph. So um, we just choose a vertex with the highest degree, and in this case, this is vertex one, and we assign that to the first color. 
The next vertex we choose is vertex 7. This has a saturation degree of 1 because it's adjacent to one color. Uh, vertex 3 and vertex 4 also have a saturation degree of 1, so we've broken ties by choosing the one with the highest um, degree. We follow this process uh, and eventually you see we color all of the vertices. This has produced a four coloring here, but uh, in general the desatur algorithm produces much better results than the greedy algorithm when the greedy algorithm is um, applied using a random permutation of the vertices. Uh, the desatur algorithm can also be shown to be optimal for certain types of topologies. So here, this is a, a wheel graph, uh, and the desatur algorithm will color this optimally. This is a bipartite graph, and similarly, the desatur algorithm will color this optimally. Further details on the desatur algorithm, the greedy algorithm, and other algorithms, together with their proofs, can be found in this book here, A Guide to Graph Coloring Algorithms and Applications.